Well, welcome back, folks. Today's video might be a little shorter than my usual uh, videos. Uh, I thought today I'd do a little update on what I've been working on for the Suzuki TS50 Gaucho project. Last couple of weeks trying to get parts prepared for the wheel, uh, relacing the wheels and the rims and getting the bike up on its feet. You can see up here in the upper left the new tires. Those are brand new, virtual perfect match, the original pattern. These are Shinko, S-H-I-N-K-O. It is a Japanese company that actually dates back to right after World War II. And in the late 90s, Shinko bought the Yokohama Tire brand tooling and dies and has continued on making their motorcycle tires under their own name, uh, originally starting with the Yokohama equipment. Uh, readily available, weren't very expensive, so those are new tires. The new rims over here, Little story on the rims. Uh, the Suzuki rims are still listed as available. I went to order them. Immediately got a back ordered notice with no estimated ETA or time of arrival. And so I waited a week or 10 days, canceled that order because it was apparent to me I wasn't gonna get them for a while. Those happen to be uh, designed, or I shouldn't say designed, but they're used on the Honda CT90 and a number of other small bikes of the same size as originally came on the TS50. They're virtually identical to the original rims. They're a different brand. These are a DID. I think you can see they're on a the label, but they're a perfect match for all practical purposes and they weren't very expensive. Certainly much cheaper than buying or uh, rather re-chroming the originals. So those rims will be a perfect match. Below that, you can see the new Suzuki spokes. Uh, still readily available, got those right away when I ordered them, and I did do a test fit in the rims, and they, they'll, they'll work and fit fine in those did rims. Below that, you can see uh, many of the other components I've got arranged, ready to go back together. I'm not going to talk about the hubs. We've already been through that a little bit with the powder coating. To the right is the front wheel hub and hardware. Uh, the hardware right here, the axle, the brake actuator arm, and the brake cam have all been replated, zinc replated. I didn't, I didn't video record any of that. And the hub itself right here, I did install uh, the bearings back in the hub. Those are the original bearings that I greased and cl cleaned and greased. And they're all back, back together and ready to go. Those are the original brake shoes. I'm going to swap the front brake shoes with the rear uh, brake shoes, they're the same shoe, because the rear shoes typically get more wear than the front. They both have plenty of meat on them, I did measure them, so there's no need to replace those brake shoes for this project. Uh, and you can see some of the parts here left over or have already been replaced, such as that uh, seal right there in the, that hub. To the left, again, is the rear hub. Um, the same kind of story. The hardware right here has already been replated. The axle, brake actuator arm, the cam, and then there's a bushing right here that you can see. All have been replated in my shop, zinc replated. The hub right here, the carrier for the rear sprocket. You can see the sprockets over here. We'll get to those in a minute. That carrier, uh, I just cleaned it up on a wire wheel and polish it a bit. The bolts that, and nuts that are used to attach the sprocket to the hub are original. The nuts are not available from Suzuki any longer. The bolts are, but they're in pretty good shape. So I just cleaned those up and then replated the nuts and bolts also. Over here again, you can see the sprocket right there. That's the original in black. This is a replacement right here. Uh, they're virtually identical, that is the new replacement sprocket. That's a 42 tooth sprocket, by the way, which was the OEM equipment supplied sprocket size. There were optional sprockets available that Suzuki did supply. And in fact, some of the other tooth counts you can still get from Suzuki. As it turns out, that 42 tooth sprocket right there is no longer available from Suzuki. So I got this aftermarket 42 tooth, 420 pitch uh, sprocket. 420 is for the chain size, of course. And uh, as you can see, it's, it was virtually identical. The only thing is that I will have to powder coat that sprocket black to match this one. 
before I go ahead and mount it up on the carrier right here. So everything is pretty much ready to go. There might be a few ancillary items I'm waiting for yet uh, to arrive here in the next few days or a week that really does not affect my next steps, which in fact will be the lacing of these wheels. So I'm going to lace these, these, these hubs right here, right there, to those rims. The rims are the same, by the way. There is no difference in, in the front and rear rims. Same part number. So that'll be really the next thing I'm going to do is lace up the rims so I can get the tubes and tires on the bike. By the way, I do have the new tubes. Um, they're just not in camera right now, but I have brand new tubes also that I'll be using, of course, with the new tires. Now, I'm not going to show the lacing of the rims. I have talked about lacing of rims many times. I shot a very involved, very complete tutorial on how to lace rims. It's on my channel, and I will put a link to that video in the comments below here if you want to go back and watch it. That covers the topic of wheel lacing in depth, and if you're curious about how to lace a rim, go back and watch that. Since that content is out there and there's other videos on wheel lacing, I'm not going to take you through all the details of lacing of these rims. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then on the other side of that, I will bring you back. And we, in fact, will talk about, you know, the finished wheels ready and tires. I'll have them already mounted on the rims with the tubes at that point. And at, at that point, I'll be ready then to start installing the freshly laced wheels, tires, hubs back on the bike so I can get the little gaucho back up on his feet and we can continue on with the reassembly. So that's an update on where I'm at with the project right now. Any issues, questions, thoughts, drop me a note. Otherwise, as usual, thanks for watching.